My name is Kathy Drennan, and I use biotechnology to do research at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Carbon dioxide is one of the greenhouse gases, and greenhouse gases create a sort of greenhouse effect which means that the environment around the planet gets warmer and warmer. And so in my laboratory, we study some microorganisms that can use greenhouse gases as fuels. They live off it the way we might live off a, a sandwich or whatever we eat. These organisms can use carbon dioxide as a source of energy. And so we really want to understand how these little microorganisms Morella thermoaceticum can do this incredible chemistry. And often at the heart of interesting chemistry is a protein. And it's doing this reaction that we would like to know how to do. Maybe we could use the same chemistry to remove carbon dioxide from the environment. So advances in biotechnology have made it so much easier to do the research that we do. You can grow these microorganisms in your laboratory. We can put it in these flasks, we shake the flasks up, and the organism is very happy, it can grow. You can break the organism open, extract out the protein, and then what we want to know is what does that protein look like? How the atoms are assembled so we can get a view of the protein at the atomic resolution. And then we can try to understand how does this protein work? How does the protein use carbon dioxide? You know, how do you remove carbon dioxide from the environment? These microorganisms know how to do it. I hope and, and I do believe that the research that we're doing in my laboratory is going to contribute to solving problems like global warming. But one approach isn't enough. So at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, we have engineers and we have chemists and biologists and basic scientists all using different approaches to studying this problem. But it's not going to be just us alone. It's all of you out there. Kids in elementary school, middle school, high school will need to think, how am I going to help stop global warming?